beat on Price. Welcome back to Hyannis as we are ready for the top half of the fourth inning. The fourth inning is our hometown announcer inning here on Fox College Sports. We have two announcers here for Hyannis. Robert, sit up. Let's see you there. See, I'm, I'm stuck off here to the side. <laughs> Hi. Robert Marcello is from Dean College. He is from Marshfield, Mass., right? Mansfield. Oh, Mass. Mansfield. Oh, gosh. <laughs> People in Mansfield are going to be upset. I yeah. hope you're not upset. I hope you're having a great time here with Ken Ryan. You have the call. The mic is yours. Thank you very much. Welcome back here on Fox College Sports. I'm Rob Marcello. Getting ready things to start in the top of the fourth. Houston Rostell on the mound. Blake Stable. Now up first pitch is in for a strike. Right down the heart of the plate. Roth has now 45 pitches. Well, he's been very economical in this game. Working ahead. 0-1 pitch is a ground ball that will stay fair. Lindsley throws it on to first for the first out in the top of the fourth. I don't think Sable knew where the ball was, but Brady Lindsley, the catcher, knew where it was. As he jumps out and makes the play, here's the swing by Sable, and not sure where it was, and then you see Lindsley quickly making the play for out number one. Pushing now up, that first pitch is outside for a ball. Count now sits at 1-0. and oh. A beautiful day for baseball here in Hyannis, as not a cloud in the sky. 1-0 pitch. In for a strike right down the heart of the plate. Count now even at 1-1. One and one. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss. There by Bush, now the count's at 1-2. One, one out on the top of the fourth. The Hyannis Harbor Hawks are up 8-0. And the one-two pitch, that ball's in the dirt. Count now even at one and one. Sorry, two and two. See there, Coach Gassman, the manager for the Harbor Hawks. Count even at two and two. Houston Roth's two-two pitch is in. Swing and a miss, strike three at that off-speed pitch. Now two outs in the top of the fourth. Strikeout number six for Houston Roth. and. We've seen it, like I mentioned, with the fastball, and again, this time, the breaking ball from Houston Roth in a nasty one right here. Breaking pitch down, and Bush. Down on strikes. Now up is Spencer Torkelson. That next pitch is past the shortstop in Holland, and we'll get down out to left field with a two-out hit. Uh, Roth has been cruising, but uh, Spencer Torkelson getting a line drive into left field for his first hit of the ball game and the second hit of the game for Chatham. Colin Simpson now up. He is one for two in the day. This is the last time he was up in the top of the third, he got a hit. First pitches, swung and a miss for strike. Simpson's actually 0 for 1 on the day as he did strike out on top of the second. Man still over at first. Not being covered though by Seth Gray as it is an 8 nothing lead. And the 0 1 pitch, swing and a miss. That back low off speed pitch. Back to back breaking pitches there from Roth and Simpson way out in front. Runner still over at first, not being held by Gray. Roth in the set on an 0-2 pitch. Two Simpson, pitches in. Sends it right past the shortstop in Holland. Back-to-back -back hits that way. And now there'll be two runners on with two outs in the top of the fourth. Oh, this pitch with two strikes, just catching too much of the plate. A nice job by Simpson. 
Shut Lindsley out, really just setting up down the middle, but that's not where you want to throw an 0-2 fastball. As Simpson delivers it into left field for his first hit of the ball game, so a two out. And then two singles here now for Chatham. Now up is Drew Mendoza. He's 0-for-1 on the day. Roth now at 55 pitches. And the first pitch into Mendoza is grounded just foul. Just right past the first base umpire. Runners both at first and second with two outs. Harbor Hawks trying to preserve the shutout. Still early in this game in the fourth. And the 0-1 pitch just gets past Brady Lindsley. But neither one will go. Throws back to first, and he is safe. Close call there. Uh, Lindsley didn't recognize the runner. Simpson really came off the bag. I think he, Simpson thought that Torkelson might go to third, but able to get back safely. And Lindsley, let's take a look at it here. A pitch in the dirt, and for a split second, Lindsley can't find it. And then the play at first base as Simpson dives back in time. Counts now even at one and one. Both the runners at first and second taking a healthy lead. One one pitch. In for a strike called there. Oh, getting the, the high pitch on that one. Looks like an off speed, looked like a change up from Roth as he catches the top end of the strike zone. Count now at one and two. Two outs in the top of the fourth. Runners at first and second. Roth from the set. Pitches in. Fouled off. Mendoza 0 for 1 on the day, as I said earlier. Here in the top of the fourth, two outs. 8 0 Hyannis. And the pitch in from Roth. Just outside for a ball. That went just off the outside corner, and Lindsley really wanted it. Let's take a look at the pitch here. You see Lindsley setting up just on the outer half of the plate, and he does a good job framing it, but it is called a ball. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And the Harbor Hawks being able to get out of it still with an 8-0 lead. Rob, great job. Enjoy the rest of the summer here in Hyannis. Thank you very much. Hometown announcer, and it continues when we come back.